Hey, so welcome to another weekly vlog. It's half past five Tuesday. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because we've had a few, few things occur. We had um, a family medical problem occur and then work has just been really manic. So anyway, I, I was sat here about an hour ago feeling a bit sorry for myself thinking, nah, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything at all. Um, but I am going to pull this back. I'm going to turn a week around. I didn't go to work tonight. I was going to go as an extra and just hang out with the crew. And I said, I was feeling a bit sorry for myself. So I've just let them go. And I don't know. I just thought, no, do you know what I say? If you're not going to sit here and dwell, you're going to get your gym kit on. You're going to go to the gym and come back, have a bath and hair wash, snuggle on the sofa with Juki. Hey, Psst. hello and try and reclaim the week. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I will give you a reading update, hopefully this evening, if not, it'll be tomorrow. I am actually working tomorrow. I'm gonna be out all day and I won't get home to about 10 o'clock tomorrow night, but I will be able to do some reading on my shift tomorrow. She says, hoping that she doesn't have a lot of patience now she's jinxed it. Um, but yeah, so I will keep you updated. We're going to pull this week back. We're going to have a good week. It started a little bit interesting, but we're going to turn it around. So I will speak to you later. So I've just got back from the gym. I need about a 40 minute session, but I feel a lot better that I have. So, um, reading update. I'm about to start the first time Lauren Paling died by Alison Rudd. Um, I picked this up in the charity shop, I think, for, yeah, a pound last year. And it says, Lauren Paling is born in the 60s and a child of the 70s. She's 13 years old the first time she dies. Lauren is a teenager in the 80s, falls in love in the 90s. And each time she dies, new lives begin for the people who loved her, while Lauren enters a brand new life too. But in each of Lauren's lives, a man called Peter Stanning disappears. And in each of her lives, Lauren sets out to find him. And so it is that every ending is also beginning. And so it is that with each new beginning, Peter standing inches closer to finally being found. It sounds very intriguing. Um, and I don't think that really gives a lot away. So while I'm running a bath, I'm going to dive into this. And I will catch up with you a bit later. So it's a little later, I've had a bath and hair wash and I have just read the first chapter of The First Time Lauren Paling Died and I don't think it's any spoiler to say that she just died um, for the first time, the end of the first chapter. Obviously we're getting to know her a little bit, we know there's something magical and mysterious going on with light beams um, and yeah she's just died for the first time at age 13 but that's where I've stopped. So I'm not loving it but it's intriguing. I will persevere with it, but I think for the rest of this evening, I want something a little bit lighter, so I might dig out a middle grade or something and just chill out a little bit. So if I don't catch up with you again today, I will try and catch up with you tomorrow or Thursday. And yeah, hopefully this week we'll begin to pick up a little bit. So this is gonna be an interesting day. I'm about to go on double shift. I'm just going to do an internal quality assurance visit on one of our training courses. Then I'm going to Don the Greens and go and cover an athletics event this afternoon. We've got a family medical emergency going on at the moment. And I've got office work to do on the road. So I packed my laptop and I'm going to try and do that while I'm doing all this other stuff. But we got this. It's going to be a weird day, but we got this. Yo, medic. Hello, it's Thursday morning, it's nine o'clock. I have been up working now for an hour or so. I have my little friend again today. Duke has gone to the office with his daddy for another boys date. So yeah, I'm gonna work from home. Um, but I am going to listen to an audio book. And I'm gonna keep my theme of books that I've not um, heard about on booktube. So I'm going to read, listen to Ghost Squad. Um, it says on Goodreads for loosely, Luna. Ghosts are more than just the family business. 
shortly before Halloween, she and her best friend Sid cast a spell that accidentally awakens malicious spirits, wreaking havoc throughout St Augustine. Together they must join forces with Sid's witch grandmother and her tubby tabby to fight the haunting head on and reverse the curse to save the town and spirits before it's too late. So apparently this has got the family dynamics of Coco and action-packed adventure of Ghostbusters. It sounds good. So it's only a short one, so I'm going to listen to that this morning and I'll catch up with you later and let you know what I thought. Scholastic Audio presents Ghost Squad by Clarabel A. Ortega. It is quarter past one. I have just got back for a walk with this one. She's already Sparko. And I finished Ghost Squad while we were out on a walk. And do you know what? It was fine. It was fine. It was a three star. It wasn't wow. I think, because I think I mentioned another vlog, I've had so many, like, basically four or five star middle grade this year that have been absolutely exceptional and fantastic. So the bar's pretty high. But it was still really good. It did definitely have the sweet family closeness vibes of Coco. And the ghosty elements were absolutely fine. There was just something missing and I can't quite put my finger on it. But it was still good. Anyway, I said, it's quarter past one. I need to jump back into work mode. It's half past four. I'm running a bath. I've done so much work today that I'm calling it a day. I'm waiting for a medical update from the fam. And then I'm going to kind of just chill a bit tonight, I think. Um, you have enough only a few minutes, darling. Lovely. And yeah, I'm going to do a bit of reading. Going to answer a few personal emails, I think. Nothing overly exciting, but I will check in with you on my reading. Hey, it's later. I don't know, it must be about six-ish. And... I have for the very first time in a long time hit a complete reading slump and it's thrown me. I got out of middle grade. I didn't want to read that. I got two chapters into the first time Lauren Paling died. I don't want to read that. Um, but I don't know what I want to read. So that's pants. I might just have a night where I don't read and I just watch TV. I don't know. I might pop out, look at my books, see if I get any inspiration, and if not, I'll have a night off reading, which is a shame, but yeah, it's just been ages since I've been to reading some. I think I've just had like a run now of a few three stars, and it's just been a bit, hmm, anyway, we'll beat it, but maybe not tonight. Hey, so it's just gone one on Friday afternoon, and I'm shattered. I'm home because I had four parcels being delivered today. I've had, yeah, between it was from like one o'clock onwards, so hence me being home, went to the office earlier. I've had two parcels delivered, I'm really happy with those. One I've got for someone else, um, and they'd be really happy. The other one was a present for Sophie, and I will show you that, but probably in another vlog, we'll see. And then I've got another two parcels coming from an online gift shop. Um, who had this huge sale. It was like things that normally £25 were down to six. Um, so I've just got a couple of boxes of stuff coming for like birthdays and Christmas and things like that. So that's what I'm waiting for. Reading wise, I started an audio book last night. I started number one in the Wicked Villain series, which is, and it's called Desperate Measures. And it's sort of a naughty version of Aladdin. And it looks like there's this weird twisted romance between Jasmine and Jafar. I got two chapters in, it is so weird. But I'm going to continue with it because I like me some weird. I like me some weird. So yeah, I didn't really read much. I still feel like I'm in a bit of a slump. So I'm in two minds of whether to maybe a couple of days early cut to my next challenge. Because the next month I want to focus on books in a series. Um, either continue series that I've started or try some new series. Um, and I want to do that for a month and I worked it out, I've got a spreadsheet and I've got like over 70 series that I either want to read or continue with. So I'm very excited by that and they're the books that are kind of attracting me at the moment rather than the rest of the books that are not on booktube. I did start the other little Stephen King I got from the library yesterday actually, Gwendy's Button Box. And I'm about 30% the way through this and it's fine. 
it's fine. I mean, the thing is, I'm a third of the way through this, so I know not an awful lot more is going to happen, I don't think. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to finish that, I think, over the weekend. But then, yeah, not really being pulled to any of the other books in that category. So, as I said, I might jump into series. Please don't be cross if I do. Um, we'll see how we go. But anyway, I am cooking. I've got work to do. I've got vehicles and things to prep for tomorrow. But I'm also on the lookout for my two parcels. So I'm very limited on what I can do at the moment. But anyway, it's all good. And I will catch up with you later. So this is box one and it's pretty much the size of my dining table. So if you're friends or family, please don't watch this because I might well have ordered you something and it's in this box and this box is ridiculously huge. So let's jump in. Now I've kind of got the packing stuff out. This is a little bit better, isn't it? So what did I get? What have I got? Oh yeah, I got that for Duke because I just thought it was cute. And he looks really cute in his little bandanas. Don't you, baby? Yeah. The Star Wars notebook to chuck into one of the boys' Christmas presents. What's this one? Oh, yeah, got a little um, pet club collar. I think it was like a pound or something. And it's a little camo one. All right, now my troublesome other half is filming in on what's going on. Oh, I got this for myself, a little mini vending machine. I don't know why. I don't know what, I mean, I say I got it for myself. I'm going to hint that Dean just takes it and gives it to me for birthday or Christmas. But I thought it'd be cute. Um, I'll see if I feel like opening it later. What else did I get? Oh, this I got as a present. It's a wall backdrop. It's a huge Star Wars little Mandalorian one. It was £25 down to 6 And I'm intrigued. What else have we got? We've got a box. We've got a box. What's in the box? Can I do this with one hand? Oh yeah, I think I got like three for six pound on something and then this is like the third thing to make up the six pounds. Oh, excuse my living room. Here we go. It's just a cup. I got a Star Wars candle for the other half. He's already got the other two. This is the third one. It's not actually the design that's in there. Again, this was, what was it? 20 pound and I got it for six pounds. Uh, let me open it. They sent the wrong design. It's meant to be Yoda. Oh. Candle problem aside, I've got this huge desktop water dispenser uh, to put on my desk. Well, it's not huge, is it? I mean, you can tell by the side of my hand. But um, yeah, again, this was £6, and I'm fairly sure these are about 20 or quid as well. Normally, what are they? Yep. So I did really well, and this is a gift for one of my friends. Let me get into this. She likes Disney, and I just thought that was an absolutely stunning water bottle. I love the colour. Yeah, I'm not going to open the other one now because it's a couple more of some things that are in the big one that I got as presents for people. So, quite content. Is it yours? Don't even think about it, young man. Yeah, you, come on. He is a cheeky sausage. Right, I'm now cooking so I don't have to watch out for any parcels. Everything's here. So, um, I'm now on food prep. I am going to show you what I got in my other parcel today. I'm just going to show you today because I'm excited. Yeah, I got the Heartstopper series. I can't believe it's taken me so long to get these. I have one and two in Kindle format. And I was like, no, the series is coming to Netflix. I want to read three and four anyway. And I love the Heartstopper series so much. I just thought, no, I want physical copies. So I did a naughty thing and I ordered them. So, I'm going to make the decision now, I hope you're not too cross, I'm going to finish my month of reading books that I haven't seen discussed on Booktube, because I'm hitting this reading slump. So, I think now I'm very excited about the next part of the challenge, which is a month of reading series. I've got a lot that I'm really, really excited to read, so I think they're going to bring me out on my reading slump. This has been really fun. It actually has. I mean, it has been a month uh, because I posted my first video on it on the 30th of March. I, just, I must have started it a few days before then. Um, yeah, it has been really good. 
it's been, I mean, I've read such a range of books. I've read middle grade, YA, adult, non-fiction, fiction, different genres, you know, I've even had sci-fi and horror thrown in. It's been such a range of books. It's been really, really good. That being said, I'm really excited to move on to my month of reading books in the series. Um, I'm going to probably try and finish off a couple of the books I've got on the go. So like Gwendy's Button Box, I'm going to try and finish that this weekend. Um, and I think Dying to Live is the other book that I'm reading. So I'll probably push on and read those, but I'm going to go ahead and start on some series. So if you made it to the end of the video, leave me an emoji of your choice. If you've read any books over the last month that haven't been discussed on Booktube or BookTok or you've not seen them on there, pop them below and I'll catch up with you soon. Have a great weekend.